Hi you guys. Hi. Hi. So you're back for a second season of By Me To Go. Um, we've got a new face here, yes, Tyler. Indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Uh, my character, he's a, he's, a, he's a bit of a confused lad. Um, <laughs> he's, he doesn't have much support from friends or family um, at that specific point in his life, but I think mm -hmm. that's quite crucial to his character coming into the group of people that he meets. Um, so they make him feel very at home. Okay. okay, brilliant. So, can you give me a little bit of a snapshot of what's in store for each of your characters this season? Well, I was thrilled, as we all were, to be commissioned for a second series brilliant. From, from something that we've all been with from it being a tiny little acorn and we've seen it grow and we're very, we're very attached to it. Um, so that was thrilling. But obviously Pam didn't take too kindly to A, being kept in the dark, as it were, mm -hmm. and B, she saw it as um, a struggle for her son going forward. Um, and, and I was worried that, that in the second series they would continue that route and that she would maybe come over to be a bit unlikable and, and a bit bigoted, yeah. which I didn't believe she was. However, the writers have very cleverly put a very good spin on it and now she's become the, 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 the go-to mom for the LGBT community, you know, Brilliant. and of course welcomes Charlie into their midst and um, and and also there is a lovely development of the of the friend well of the relationship between the two moms um, and and so I've, I've been very happy with how that uh, is how, how that has developed. Great. Judy our character? Uh, so yeah Judy and Leo are living together uh, oh, they're moving fast. Uh, well, that's the thing. You never, you never quite know how how many months have elapsed between the end of series yeah. one and the start of series two. But yeah, to all intents and purposes, they, they move quickly. <laughs> uh, but they live at Judy's mum's house at Peggy's, so yeah. it's a small house made to feel even smaller because Jackie's there. And J Jackie, the, you know, played by, by Lizzie Roper, my sister. No, Lizzie, Jackie's my sister, <laughs> um, not my sister, Judy's, <laughs> anyway, Jackie, you know what I mean. If Jackie played yeah. by Lizzie gets a fella this exactly. time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say, yes. <laughs> uh, so it, it's, a, it's a cramped but happy, uh, by and large a happy household, but it's not without its difficulties. Okay, brilliant. And Jackie, played by Lizzie, gets a, gets a boyfriend, as we say, called Dean, who's the pest control guy, and he's played by Steve March, who is a hilarious new character, a brilliant actor, brilliant addition to the series and he basically is the character that they use as a vehicle to ask the questions about the trans yes. community that most people would like to but are too shy but it's really a a asking questions that many people would like answered in a very light-hearted, humorous but gently educating way. Okay. And James, you ended up uh, last season with a bit of a love interest, does that develop in this season? Uh, well, the thing with James is is he never often moves forward with speed. <laughs> However, the spot that he stands, he does dance. And, uh, yeah, he's there. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see, but it's definitely more James. Yeah. Shall we say? He's still born idle, and he's yeah. still very funny. <laughs> and Angie's character? Angie is great, um, because we actually get to see a bit of her life outside the salon, um, which is great. And then might be a little surprise in there. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> and Elliot, a question to you. Uh, which of the cast do you find really easy to write for? Because it just like, comes off the pen. Who's the best? <laughs> <laughs> which just like comes off the pen really, really easy. Actually, I, I, I realised, I learned that um, with the very, very first series, um, you could just hear the characters' voices. Yes. But with the second series, you could hear the actors' voices. Mm. Um, for me personally, it's hardest for James for Johnny's James because he's the way he speaks is quite specific. Yeah. So I had to use the Urban Dictionary a lot for Johnny's for James's dialogue. So um, titles. <laughs> but, um, and then because my mom is Pam is based on my mom, so what my, my mom says I just type that up. Um, so it's just it actually got a bit easier in terms of knowing who the characters were because you because of the actors really inhabiting the character, you could hear their voices now. Mm -hmm. So it became a lot easier actually. Okay, um, another question to you. If you could change characters for one episode, which character would you want to play? Peggy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, probably... Oh, 
I think I play D. Um, is yeah, D. Would yeah, you play, play D? D. Why D? He's, he's just hilarious. He's he uh, he doesn't take himself too seriously, um, and he's quite straightforward, which is kind of how I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I want to know something, I'll just ask. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. I think I'd probably like to play James, just because it's. This world is so nuts that it might be might be worth experiencing for <laughs> 24 hours. I think I'd like to play Angie, actually, because uh, yeah, because uh, she gets to boss people around and be kind of sort of. She has a, you have, she has her own timetable, drifts in at 11 a.m. Yeah. and it's like the shop's been open for two hours already. You know, so I quite, I quite like that. Yeah, I don't really know. I think probably Peggy. I'm, I'm, I've just been a lifelong fan of Janine Davidsky, so really I just, you know, she's, I love every character she plays and what she brings to it really, so probably Peggy. Great. It's just been a real joy watching the scenes between Denise and Janine. Just Great. like um, watching Denise look at me, looking at Janine, um, there's something in, in Denise's eyes where it's just, there's just something that she can't put on the page, but she just brings so much to all those moments where it's just incredible. Even in the, First episode one in series two, there's a look which Denise gives to Janine, which is incredible. Um, mm. and you, I can't even put it into words, but it's great. And it sees things that I never even Well, the does. moments which they're not in the script, and um, it's like what Johnny does. Um, Johnny's so it's, it's crazy how um, <laughs> all the big laughs he gets from things he ad mm -hmm. and they're not, never on the page. Um, and what's so incredible is he is always done in character. And he's so smart, he knows what the character will be doing. Yeah. And so every line he comes up with, you're thinking, Crikey, that's awful. You're thinking, that's perfect. How can you be that good? Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. I love the last episode where, where Pam confronts Judy. That was quite an emotional scene between the two characters. Yeah. So, um, Elliot, is that the emotional scene that the most emotional scene you've shot in that season? Well, or, or was there another one that springs to mind? Um, actually, that was pretty emotional. Um, there's actually one in series two episode one, which I watched it last week and made me cry again actually. Um, it's a scene between Peggy, Janine Dimitsky and Leo Harry Heppel. And it's just, Janine is so incredible in that moment. Um, and she actually tears up. And it's nice seeing a different kind of side to her character. Um, I actually, she made me cry. That's brilliant. Um, so what has been the feedback from the trans transgender community? Has it been positive? Has it been a mixture? Have you been getting tweets? Have you been getting Facebook posts? It's been, in my experience, from this, what, what I have loved about the success of Series 1 is that the complete cross-section of viewer that we've had Yes. Um, from my demographic of a viewer, Betty from Bolton, <laughs> um, and uh, who's a huge fan, and uh, or Betty from Biker up here, and, uh, and, and people from the trans community. As far as I'm concerned, on my social media feedback and in the street, I haven't had one negative comment. Brilliant. And people are very quick, especially Brilliant. on Twitter, to tell you if they don't like something. They are definitely. And, and, then, yeah, <laughs> and, they, and they basically have, the have business community loved it. And the mm. trans community have have welcomed it with open arms as yes. far as I'm Excellent. concerned. I mean we saw an incredible reaction when we were last here from Jossie and Faye who, who actually are involved in, in, in the show a little, a little bit who were here mm -hmm. as part of the Miss Transgender UK um, thing last time and it was seeing their reaction when we watched it last year and then bursting into tears at the scene you know as soon as they started to cry at the scene between Judy and Leo in the restaurant we knew that the, it had impacted somehow on, mm -hmm. on that community and um, and I mean Rebecca will tell you more but certainly in my experience it's been widely received very well. well I think you should be really proud of yourselves, I think Thank it's a fantastic you. series, you've put across a fantastic message to people. I'm really looking forward to seeing season two. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for yeah, you season two, you American. <laughs> <laughs> series, series two. <laughs> series two. Thank you for having me and let me interview you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And um, good luck tonight and uh, have fun. Cheers. Brilliant, Cheers. thanks very much.